a great, big, enormous turnip. Aren't you excited? Have you been thinking about turnips this whole time? This entire year? I thought you were. But don't worry. We're going to find out what this story is about. And you might even decide to go to the store and get a turnip instead of chocolate for Valentine's Day. Every Valentine needs a turnip. The Great Big Enormous Turnip by Helen Oxbury did the pictures. And the story is by Alexi Tolstoy. Look at this cute little couple sitting on the turnip. They've really been there for each other. There's a dog, and she looks like she's having a blast hanging out, too. Should we open up the pages? Oh, here's the back of the book. I love looking at the illustrations. This looks like it could be a tiny bit funny to me. Okay. Open the book and see what's inside. Hmm. Aw. Cozy little house on a farm. That's cute. Once upon a time, an old man planted a little turnip and said, Grow, grow, little turnip, and said, Grow, grow, little turnip, grow sweet, grow, grow, little turnip, grow strong. He's talking to the turnip. He's giving it positive messages. Maybe a little pressure for it to grow. I hope the turnip's not rebellious and decides not to grow just because he's telling it to grow. Hmm. And the turnip grew up sweet and strong and big and enormous. Then one day, the old man went to pull it up. He pulled and pulled again, but he could not pull it up. See me peeking under here? That's me. Peek -a -boo. He's pulling and pulling and pull. Oh my gosh, that is great and big and enormous. That is a big turnip with a big, beautiful sun in the background. I hope he has a good chiropractor to help his back afterwards. And he called the old woman. Oh, peeking through the window. There she is. She looks a little bit like me with a shawl and lots of animals. Odd hairdo, sassy boots, perplexed look on the face. I like her a lot. I like the scene in her house. The old woman pulled the old man. The old man pulled the turnip. And they pulled and pulled again, but they could not pull it up. Whoa. This reminds me, we used to have a teacher rope pull contest with teachers on one end and kids on the other. Oh my gosh, was that funny. I used to laugh so hard I really couldn't pull the rope. Not that I really had much to offer anyways in terms of arm strength, but I tried. Look at them. They're really pulling. And she has his, susp <laughs> his suspenders. And look at her little boots. Heels dug in. So the old woman called her granddaughter. Granddaughter! There's granddaughter. Granddaughter's hanging in a tree, looking at a book. There's the old woman down there. She's farther away than the granddaughter in a tree. We'll talk about perspective in another lesson. The granddaughter pulled the old woman. The old woman pulled the old man. The old man pulled the turnip and they pulled and pulled again but they could not pull it up. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of effort.
short. Oh gosh, have you ever tried to do something really hard and you needed a couple more people to help you? How did that turnip get so big? The granddaughter called the black dog. Wow. That's a big black dog sitting on a sofa. I don't know if that dog really wants to do this right now. Looks pretty content. Looks like his eyes are kind of going, uh, let's pretend like I'm not here. But when you need help, you need help, right? The black dog pulled the granddaughter. The granddaughter pulled the old woman. The old woman pulled the old man. The old man pulled the turnip. And they pulled and pulled again, but they could not pull it up. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I get the point. It's a big turnip. Oh, the dog is there getting off the sofa. There's an old man, an old woman, the granddaughter, and a dog. One, two, three, four helpers trying to pull up one big giant turnip stuck deep into the ground. I wonder if the turnip is laughing. I would be. The black dog called the cat. Mm. Woof, woof, woof. Ah, meow. Nah, not today. Super happy. Have a good spot here. It's cute. The cat pulled the dog. The dog pulled the granddaughter. The granddaughter pulled the old woman. The old woman pulled the old man. The old man pulled the turnip. And they pulled and pulled again, but they still could not pull it up. Oh my goodness. That is a lot of people and animals trying to pull this turnip up. We have grandpa, grandma. Well, not really grandpa, just old man. Don't know if that's grandpa. Maybe grandpa. Grandpa. Old man, old woman, granddaughter, dog, cat. One, two, three, four, five creatures, earth creatures, human creatures, animal creatures trying to help. The cat called the mouse. Hello, Mr. Mouse. Hi, it's cat. No, I don't want to eat you. I just need your help today. What? No, you can trust me. It's teamwork today. Come on over. Oh my gosh, look at the mouse. I love the mouse's belly. All the animals look a little bit confused at first, but you know what? You can be confused. You can not really want to help, but still help anyways. That's okay. The mouse pulled the cat. The cat pulled the dog. The dog pulled the granddaughter. The granddaughter pulled the old woman. The old woman pulled the old man. And the old man pulled the turnip. Now we have a mouse at the caboose, at the cabals. Old man, grandmother, granddaughter, doggy McFrudels, cat McDoodles, mouse McCutles, all there to help. I wonder if you've ever had an experience where you need help. Sometimes you just want to do things yourself and you try and try and try. Sometimes it's hard to ask for help, but if you want to get something done or accomplished or figured out, it's okay to ask for help when you need it. They pulled and pulled again and up came the turnip at last. Oh my gosh. Look at all those people and critters making a big pile, turnip on its side, still loving the boots. I'm kind of a boot lady myself. Love the sprawled out hand. This is really funny. I hope they're okay. The turnip has to be laughing. I'm sure of it. I wonder what a turnip sounds like when it laughs. It doesn't have a mouth, but it might go <laughs> like that. What do you think it sounds like? Oh, look at this. After they pulled up the turnip, they went into their house and they ate all at the round table and ate it and the dog got down the 
cat got down the table, they all sat down and the mouse on top of the turnip almost where the leaves were. I was reading that very slowly and uncomfortably because the writing in here is really light pencil and I almost can't tell if that's part of the book or if someone that has this book wrote that. So sorry for looking confused while I read it, but that's really what I was feeling. So they're sitting down to eat the turnip. Mmm. They didn't even cook it. No sauteing, no baking, no salt and pepper, no slicing it up like a french fry. Just sitting and eating it. And that's the end. Oh my goodness, I get it. I get it. Do you get it? Do you think that turnip should have stayed in the ground? Or do you think it was a good idea to try to pull it up and ask for help pulling it up and bring everyone into the picture to pull it up? And once they pulled it up, they didn't just stop and stare at it. They enjoyed their hard work. What do you need to accomplish in your life today? Do you need help doing it? Who can you ask for help? What is hard work? feel like to you. My dog thinks that's a good idea. I don't think I could really pull a turnip up without my dog, come to think of it. Anyways, food for thought. I wonder what's going to turn up in your life today. Sorry, couldn't resist the bad jokes. Just part of my human, human nature, my vegetable nature. See you soon.